The main objective of the EGNOS Safety of Life Service is to support civil aviation operations down to localizer performance with vertical guidance minima, known as LPV. Since the first procedure published in PAL, France, on the 17th of March 2011, EGNOS implementation has progressively evolved during these 10 years. A map providing EGNOS-based procedure implementation status in Europe has been available since then on the EGNOS user support webpage. This is the overall picture of EGNOS-based procedures in 2014. The green airplanes indicate the aerodrome where there is an EGNOS-based procedure. As we advance in time, we can see how green airplane icons pop up on the map, indicating that there is an EGNOS-based procedure available in that aerodrome. A remarkable milestone took place on September 2015, when the LPV-200 service was declared operational. This new minima line allows for bringing the decision height to as low as 200 feet above ground level. The number of LPV-200 procedures has been growing since then. The publication of the PBNIR regulation back in 2018, which requires that all instrumental runway ends have an RMP approaches procedure published by 2024, settled another inflection point. Today, almost all European countries have an EGNOS-based publication. There are more than 300 aerodromes, adding up to almost 800 EGNOS-based procedures in Europe. A figure that will keep on growing as EGNOS is a key enabler for performance-based navigation. Visit the EGNOS user support webpage where you can find the map displaying EGNOS implementation which is updated each AIRAC cycle.